We begin tonight tracking monsoon storms in the East Valley. An ADOT camera on the US 60 near Peralta Road out near Grand Canyon or Gold Canyon rather captured this video around 830 tonight. You can see lots of rain there, some heavy wind in the area. We are tracking those storms and where they are headed next. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. Let's get right to your weather impact forecast. Meteorologist Ginger Jeffries is here tracking tonight's storm activity. Ginger may be a sign that the extreme heat is finally breaking. What's the radar looking like? Well, we're definitely trading one extreme for another. We already saw hail yesterday, hail today, and then also take a look at this. Jeanette sending this in from East Mesa saying the storms tonight clearly an ASU fan because it looked like a fork. I love it. All right, let's take a look at the radar. It has been active, not across the board, but primarily southeast of the Phoenix metro area. And you can see the brighter banding indicating heavy, heavy downpour and the presence of lightning, which if you've gone outside, no doubt you have seen a light show. The biggest cell right now, this is our live Doppler radar, between Queen Creek to Gilbert and Chandler. This guy is firing off not just some heavy rainfall, but also some lightning. Now, as far as the precipitation rate, it's dropped down to about 0.23, so a third of an inch of an hour. About a half hour ago, it was dropping rain at a rate of 1.91, so almost two inches per hour. No, it's not raining for a solid hour. These are collapsing rather rapidly but it just kind of gets you an idea of the deluge that's coming down. Also, tracking this cell out near the Buckeye. This guy is uh, really not that impactful. And, of course, we've got a little shower activity slightly north of Casa Grande. Meantime, Ajo, we've got a flash flood warning until 1145 because a cell that moved through on the 86 was producing rain at a rate of 2 inches per hour. So what are we looking for in the rest of the evening? As you can see, these storms are collapsing before daybreak tomorrow. So I think we're seeing the last hurrah of this round of monsoon moisture. The other indicator, your dew point. Anytime dew points fall below 55 degrees, we really don't have that thunderstorm capability outside. We're still holding on to the heat. Our humidity levels are going up. And remember, we still have excessive heat on the horizon for us tomorrow. So as far as our monsoon meter goes, we're up in the ante. We've got a two for the valley, the four for the White Mountains into southeast area. Arizona, a three for northern Arizona, but this is just the beginning of a monsoon roller coaster that's going to take us into the weekend. I've got details on that coming up. My full forecast back to you. All right, Ginger, we'll see you soon.